going into the game before I can even uh, get the header updated. You guys are gonna have to go easy on on me there. It's uh, it's quite time consuming to uh, input all the names and everything. Usually when you watch the stream, there'll be one guy doing the names and like another two guys doing commentary. Yeah, I feel the same way, Box. Um, I feel like it, it, it's like a really cool system. I like the idea that you can just play matches when you want. Um, but I, I think the ranking system that Smash GG uses, like to actually go from the matches that were played into the into the ranking, is very flawed. So the way ladder works is basically you you go on your phone and you just say, "Give me a match," and Smash GG will assign you an opponent. And if you win, you get a star, and if you lose, you lose a star. And then at the end of uh, some period, basically whoever has the highest peak stars will be at the top of the ladder. Like, so if I had 10 stars at one point, now I have five. I'll, I'll still be ranked first if no one else has ever had more than 10. Um, so I think there's a few flaws with that system, but the advantage is that, you know, you don't have to like get to your pool at a certain time. If you show up 10 minutes late, like you're not getting DQ'd. And you just play matches at your own speed and ideally against people of your own skill level. So it definitely has some advantages. I think the ranking system though, and this is something Dogs was complaining about to me, is like a little flawed. So like if you beat two bad players but then lose to two good players, like you'll have zero stars. Whereas someone that beat three bad players will have three stars, you know? The, the quality of the wins and losses are not taken into account, and they can be kind of random. Uh, so the format, I believe, is ladder, and then uh, the top four people of ladder will go into like top eight, and the, bot the next like 50% highest ranking people on the ladder will go into some pools. So with all that being explained, uh, I've been ignoring the match. Dogs, I believe, took game one. Pretty close. So we might see a Falcon Ditto game too, I'm not sure. Seems like OJ kind of waffling back and forth between the, the remix and vanilla. All right, Stan Wolf. Sorry about that. Yeah, there is a vanilla match, uh, vanilla bracket, which is formatted the exact same way. So it'll be ladder into pools into, uh, I think top eight. That's scheduled to start at uh, in 30 minutes from now. So it'll be one our time, two your time. But uh, remix ladder was a little delayed to start, and I'm not sure how that's going to work. Like, if they're going to close the remix ladder as soon as the vanilla ladder starts. If they'll let it run a little longer. I don't know. So this is looking very close so far. Yeah, uh, in terms of stream, you, you get a very mixed bag. Uh, wow, the blaster edge guard puts OJ a stock. Yeah, so like with pools or with uh, with waterfall, you know, you would see like some low level matches, then some mid level matches, then some high level matches. With traditional pools, you'd see like kind of a variety. This is very much like the variety approach, right? We can have just like some top players and then like some random guys one after another. I don't think the ladder tries very hard to pair people. 
So can he recover here? Wolf's got the distance. Oh, he rolls and uh, can't act out of shield fast enough. That's unfortunate. Dogs takes it in two really close games.